So we are making Angular. Uh, Angular project from scratch, right? Mm -hmm. So we did so far two things. We created project, and before that, we set up uh, our environment. So anytime when we uh, when you create Angular project, you need to set up environment. That is first thing. Next is create the project, and we did creation of the project using Angular CLI. Correct? Yes. Angular CLI will help us uh, in many form in future also. Therefore, we chose it. The examples are <coughs> Angular CLI will help us for adding Angular material into our project. This is one thing. Second thing Angular CLI will help us is tomorrow if you uh, if if let's say Angular version is upgraded, then Angular CLI has a, a provision to upgrade your Angular project completely without even uh, uh, doing it manually. They have that facility that we. Uh, we can do so therefore angular uh, CLI is helpful and then we did that part right so the next part uh, that we want to do today is uh, two things one is integrate angular CLI integrate the angular CLI using uh, uh, sorry integrate the angular material integrate angular material using Angular CLI. You learn how you can integrate Angular material within a uh, within a minute without doing anything. Just Angular CLI will do that. Because if you want to do manually, there are six steps to do that. Six steps and six different files that you want to go and change, and that you will get it free. That we will see today, right? Second, uh, and then this is the first thing that we should watch today. And then second thing we will saw we will see today is uh, how to show list of product into the UI. into UI so that is the third thing we should do show a list of product right and if time permits we will do uh, and this showing a list of product is from in memory this is from in memory or the webpack daemon server which is which runs in in memory basically but our task is to deploy our project into some server so that is the fourth step we will do is uh, like deploy <coughs> uh, deploy project angular project into uh, let's say for now local server local node server and then we should serve our products from that server and then files from that server it's like deployed into some cloud environment or something for now it is locally and then we will we will continue and we will deploy our project into some cloud, free cloud environment, wherever it is available. Nowadays, Angular Firebase is there, uh, Firebase <coughs> uh, cloud-based application you can deploy. You can deploy to Heroku, uh, and you can also deploy to uh, Azure. These are like AWS, many cloud-based uh, cloud platforms are there where we can deploy, and they have free trial that you can open account and deploy. So today we will see at this these three things uh, to integrate material, show the list of products, and then we'll uh, deploy our project into some local node server, and we will continue where we'll do other thing like uh, mostly we will uh, next we can do is integrate our project with MongoDB and show the data from MongoDB, and uh, after that we will try to deploy into some cloud-based application, cloud-based platform, or we can do vice versa. First deploy into cloud-based and then do MongoDB. We can do any anyone. So that is the plan for today's uh, session. Okay, so let's see uh, uh, how we want to show the products into UI. So the goal is uh, our Angular project runs in a Webpack server, and Webpack server, uh, Webpack Dev server, Webpack Dev server runs in in memory. So you whatever files we serve those are all in memory files so let's say your components are there whichever components and whichever assets everything is in memory so we will create one uh, assets file called as product.json and we'll try to put some hard coded json file here in the product.json and then uh, our goal is to read this file and show it into some component called it let's say products component so that's our goal so that's the first 
uh, second thing that we will do after after integrating with Angular CLI. So read the products.json file, which has some list of product, and then show it into products uh, component. Clear? And this is simple, right? Before that, we will try to integrate Angular CLI, uh, Angular material, and the command for that is very simple. Uh, just run ng and call it add, and then call the name of the package that you want to integrate, you want to add. You know, right? This one. So this is ng add, and then Angular at the rate Angular uh, slash material. So ng add at the rate <coughs> Angular slash material will execute. Uh, certain steps and it will take care of uh, uh, integrating angular material to your angular project and that will be very simple it will ask a couple of questions and it will do it for you so that we will do first and then next we will try to show this uh, product into product component and then third we will deploy it into uh, server so let's talk how to deploy into local server any question on this too Clear, right? The, those two things. Third, we will try to deploy it into local node JS server. Any idea how we will try, how we, we can achieve this? And we have done a couple of times before also. This is the idea is like to, in Angular project, um, we have a command called as ng-serve. And this command basically uh, triggers the Angular CLI to, to serve our project into, into where? Demo. Into dev mode, uh, into daemon server, which is again I told like uh, it, 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 it runs in a webpack dev server, which is, which basically runs in a in-memory server, in-memory. So this is basically in-memory. And this is only for dev purpose, for development purpose, correct? But when we are trying to deploy it into some server, some box, at that time we need separate command, correct? What is that command? And what is that server basically? How we will spawn up that server, right? Let's say there is a box, you want to deploy your code, you need to spawn up your server to host your files. Who will do that? Normally IS, Tomcat, they do they have the capability that where, where you just deploy some folder and it serve them right but we know how we do in an, in node.js so so we want to put another script in the in the angular project which is different than ng serve and that script should do the trick right and the thing is uh, we will go ahead and create uh, we know that under src we have all of our client side project right client app this is our client app, overall, under the SRC. What you could do is you could create another folder called as server. And we will do all of our server programming inside that. Mm -hmm. And we did uh, last we did time, last time. correct, yes. yeah. So the same thing we will do here. And then here, uh, basically the goal is to install Express.js. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. So we will install Express in our Angular project. And then we will create a, we will quickly spawn a server, right? How to do that? So we will write server.js and then inside that we will create the application uh, from the express. By calling the express, we will create application and then we will listen to a particular port. port. We will say app dot listen to let's say port number 4040. So this is the quickest way to create a server in the node app, in the node environment. And that is it. So we, you create a server which is listening at the port number 4040 and then and then if you just deploy just deploy these files into some box right and run this JavaScript file it will quickly uh, host a server it will create a server who is listening to 4040 only go uh, only the restriction is in that box node has to be already installed so it's like node is installed you deploy your JavaScript run this server javascript once you run this server.js file it will spun up uh, 4040 and then whatever you have within that folder wherever this js file is running in that directory whatever files you have whatever assets and anything you have images those are all servable from this localhost from this url 
So let's say if inside that you have a um, some JavaScript file, some other JavaScript file or some image, some image, then you can access this image using this URL. So what we will do is our client side application, we will take this client side application, we will run ng build on it. Once you run ng build, you can run it in a production mode by passing the PR <coughs> hyphen hyphen PR OD. ng build, ng space build space hyphen hyphen PR OD. This command will create a production version of your code, compiled version. And then it will put into a dist folder, correct? So this is the file that we want to serve it. And you can put it wherever the server is ready. So our goal is to take this distribution file completely, all of the data inside that, and deploy it into, deploy with this server.js file. So we'll deploy this dist, we will, we will say that, hey Express, use this dist as a uh, static uh, location, where you can just host this entire stuff. There is a way that you can assign the static location to the express, right? So how do you do that? You say app dot dot use. What is this app? It is the express express application, right? So use app dot use, and we can say express dot static, and we can pass the path of this file. So let's say if this path is c slash temp slash dist, that's it. So that way we ask Express, hey, can you please uh, host the, uh, the entire folder? Once it is like this, once you put this, basically it is available. So now we can say HTTP, colon 4040, and then the moment you type this is, inside this dist folder we have an index.html. So by default, index.html is served by default. So the moment you go to this URL, automatically you will see your index page and then you see your app is running. So this is the trick to deploy your code into node server locally, correct? And this code is not a throwaway code that we will write because this is what you do in any node application. So whichever node application you create that you want to deploy to any uh, anywhere, wherever node is installed, node environment is ready, this is the code that you will write, right? Let's say you are trying to deploy it into Azure, you are trying to deploy it into Heroku or, or somewhere else, right? All of that uh, that we discussed. This code is still needed. You still need the server that you have that you want to spawn yes. up and you want to serve your own data. Okay? So so this is the third thing that I wanted to discuss. Any question on this? Because sometimes it goes tricky when, when people will ask, can you uh, can you um, host your Angular project into Node server. Mm. This question is tricky. It Overall, it makes uh, different sense. But under the hood, this is the thing we do, right? So the one answer is yes, we can do it. And we can use a component. What is that backend component that we used here in order to achieve this uh, server capability? Express. Express.js, correct? So Express is the backend component that we used. So Express is basically Express. one of the very important fundamental component that is used in the uh, mean stack, the server side part of it, right? So, so this is what <coughs> component we use, and this is integrated in anywhere, wherever you have a node node environment and you want to serve the uh, serve your application. Okay, so let's uh, let's begin and we will try. We will start doing from one, and then two, and then if time permits, we'll do third, or we'll continue. Any uh, question on this? It's clear, right? This, yeah. Yeah. and you'll see when you will do it. What's that? Fine.